Hello, everyone. This is John, your host for the Efficiency and Reliability Podcast. Today, um, we'll delve into a case study surrounding the challenges faced by a plant due to erosion and corrosion in their waste heat recovery system and how they you know, tackled this issue without compromising plant availability or production. Let's start. So the flue gas is fed into the waste heat recovery steam generator to reduce the gas temperature from the furnace. Due to the harsh process conditions, the WHRSG surface experiences high erosion corrosion rates leading to premature thickness loss of bare tubes and even the pre-installed alloy 625 weld overlay. The furnace panels required frequent replacement or repair. The time required for the weld repairs, along with panel replacement, and uh, extended turnaround schedules, impeded plant availability, and resulted in associated production losses. In 2021, the plant engineers uh, decided to test high-velocity thermal spray cladding. After a study of the environment and an on-site test panel installation, 100 square meter of HVTS cladding was installed on the WHSRG. The following year, in 2022, an inspection showed that while HVTS cladding successfully protected most of the installed wool and bare metal surface, localized areas indicated HVTS cladding thickness loss. This was uh, due to the gas velocities and higher temperatures in these specific areas. So the cladding was subsequently upgraded to combat both corrosion and erosion. An early 2024 inspection delivered good results, showing no metal wastage of the base material. Considering the protection of critical assets and the uh, relatively fast application rates associated with the HVTS, a decision was made to apply HVTS again in 2024. Estimating potential losses during downtime, assuming a daily production value of approximately 2 million US dollars of refined copper, and considering a six day difference between HVTS and alternative methods, the uh, suggested potential savings are 12 million US dollars. The effective implementation of IGS-HVTS cladding onto this waste heat boiler has enhanced reliability through the adoption of a sustainable, economical solution. This has uh, enhanced the operational efficiency of the plant, underscoring the advantages of integrating advanced technology with careful planning and high-quality project execution. And that's it for today's episode. If you'd like to listen to more case studies, please subscribe to this podcast. You can also visit our website at www.integratedglobal.com to read more case studies. Once again, this is John, your host. Until next time.